Along with the ceramics we found in our Mesa drilling spoils, we also found a bunch of strange metal pieces. So with this, you guys are most interested in the elemental makeup of yeah, it? What, yes. Yeah, what is it? Yes. So after the test results of the ceramics, which we believe could be from the massive object buried in the Mesa, Eric wanted to examine a sample of the metal. You'll see there's a region where I've scraped the surface so that we can get down to the material that underneath what might be a corrosive or an oxide layer. Eric scratched the surface of the metal so that when we examine it in the scanning electron microscope, we could find out the elements that made up not only its surface, but also its interior. That might help us figure out what the metal would be used for. So this is the elemental breakdown. It's so iron and iron. So that first scan, though, was really of the cut part, right? Yeah. So that was just hot. a point right here where the cut was cleanest. So let me shift up here. Yeah, let's scan the outer layer. Oh, yeah, look at this. There's a lot of stuff in it. We got zinc, we got uh, carbon, iron, silicon, a lot of aluminum, which suggests that there's an aluminum coating, right? Oh, because you're seeing less aluminum in the cut yeah. than you are on the surface. Yeah. So could it give us clues as to what it was based on what we're seeing? I can tell you this, Thomas, every one of the space experiments that I've flown that was exposed to the vacuum of space was coated with aluminum oxide. OK. Yeah. The well, oxide of aluminum forms this clear, non-conductive, right. uh, very tough surface. So as we're building satellites right now, we're getting ready to put them up. That is the coating yep. right, that we use very common, both for the components, for the structures. Yes. You know. That's interesting. Over the past three decades, I've worked on a number of projects in the aerospace industry involving rockets and advanced propulsion systems for spacecraft. The metal and the ceramic materials we pulled out of the Mesa are very similar to what's used to protect them from the extreme heat of re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. When did they start using aluminum oxide on things? When did you see that start to show up? If we talk about the space program, the Apollo missions, that would be in the 60s. Yep. So how did this get in there into the Mesa? Well, I mean, we pulled a 1964 nickel out of the hill. Right. So, and if Chris Roberts is right, and that was a sign of an archaeological dig, what were they digging out of there? And it's very interesting that we're seeing a material that could be similar to what the space program was using at the time. I mean, you could speculate all day long that uh, something crashed there in the Mesa, and they would have come and taken it and covered it all up, because it was all, they were trying to keep everything secret. A couple of weeks ago, archaeologist Chris Roberts found a 1964 US nickel in the drilling spoils and informed us that it is a common practice to leave a new coin in the backfill as a timestamp to indicate when an official dig was completed. So. Given the stunning test results of the metal and ceramic that came out of the mesa, right where we believe a massive object is buried, Thomas's suggestion that they could have been related to our 1960s space program really makes you wonder. Did something of ours crash there and the government covered it up? Or given all the crazy UAPs we've seen on the ranch, is it possible they found something there and took part of it away to try and reverse engineer it? Who knows? That's why we're going to keep working to uncover whatever is inside there. You know, I really appreciate the access to the lab today, Dr. Patrick. Well, I'm happy to help you. I'm definitely happy to investigate new things. Uh, something new in science is always exciting. Yeah, I agree 100%. There's nothing more exciting than making a new observation or discovery. Yes, sir. Right?